All right, here's part two of um, the Resident Evil Revelations review, and we were on part six. So here we go. I also would have liked if you could customize your own con your own control scheme, like. How, like, I liked the control scheme type D. Uh, I just, just, I, I like the control scheme type D. I just, I just didn't like using both the, both the analog sticks. If I could change, if I could change the type, type D where I could, like, use one stick and not pull both, I would have sticked with type D, but you can't do that. Yeah, like, you know, like, custom, like, you know, just like, you know, you know, like how it makes you like change it the way you want, you know, like how some games like you do that, they don't want you to do that in this game, which kinda of sucks. Um, but yeah, since you can't do that. Yeah, I would have to stick with type D, but you can't do that. So anyway. Resident Evil Revelations, this is this is like the graphics for it. Resident Evil Revelations looks amazing on the three S. One of the best looking titles on the three S. There were times I thought I was playing on the PS3. Yeah, I'm serious. It looked that good. And that's how good Revelations really sh Wait. PS3 there are that good. Revelations really shows what the 3DS can do. Even more so on the Part 7. Even more so on the snow and water levels, this game looks amazing. Okay, so the game is split between Resident Evil Classic, you know, like Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, and, um, you know, with the walking, you know, with walking controls, camera, and the, you know, the wonky controls, which I didn't mind. I'm, I'm just telling you if, you if you don't know what the classics are. Um, where it's more scary and you explore more than you shoot or it's more like RE5 where you get tons of ammo and kill kill everything in sight oh yeah I say Resident Evil Classic I say Resident Evil, Resident Evil Classics are the best parts in the game I mean the music is perfect the airy music then they have the atmosphere just right. You never know what's going around the next corner. And that's a good thing. It's also dark and you hear all these noises. It's just awesome. Yeah, I really enjoy this game as you can tell. <laughs> um, put it this way. If they, if they ever revisit Resident Evil Classic, like they, like they, like how it used to be back in the 90s, like RE1, RE2, RE3, and, oh yeah, by the way, this is part 8, um, RE1, RE2, and etc., and did a modern twi twist on it, I'd want it, like, RE Revelations, not counting RE6, or, like, op Operation Raccoon City, because, oh, well, that's not really out yet, um, since I've played it yet, and it's not out of the, or, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not out yet, and that's not, Oh yeah, the RE5 levels are just all action, non-stop. Although they can have screen moments too when you get surrounded by enemies. And in, and more. I also had more fun with the RE5 parts and I did an RE5 kind of funny event. Um, I also forgot to say this. For the RE, RE Classic part or Resident Evil Classic parts, they also have enemies. Okay, this is part 9. Yeah, this is a lot easier. <laughs> they also have enemies coming from the ceiling, cl closets, vents, and more. So, so yeah, it makes RE Classic or Resident Classic even better because you never know what's what's around the next corner or what's going to happen next. Also, the RE Five levels can get into into the RE Classic levels where there's enemies. In every room, or you have to run somewhere a certain amount of time. Okay, the, okay, okay. Here's here's the enemies. Okay, okay, we're only five minutes. 
Okay, the enemies... There are a lot of enemies. Oh yeah, a lot of the enemies are the same type of enemy, but just a little different. Okay, well, the thing that replaces the zombies this time is called the ooze. Or something like that. You know, like kind of like Ivan Ooze from Power Rangers. Yes, Power Rangers. I, I was a huge fan of Power Rangers back in the day. Power Rangers are awesome. Okay. Are called the ooze or something like that. This is part 10. Or something like that. Like, yeah. Like that. The, the ooze is like the, the enemy in RE4 where you had to use the rifle with like that scope thing, you know, where you could see the leeches in its body. Yeah. Yeah, with the scope on it, on it to kill the things in its body, to kill it for good. It's kind of like that. That's kind of what the enemy looks like, if you, if you if you know what I'm talking about. Just more, um, it kind of looks like that, just more simple. It's all, yeah, it's all gray with its hands shaped like swords and ugly, and an ugly face. That's the first enemy you meet. You mean, then some look different and do different things to kill, but they basically just look, look the same. They just look a little, a little different, you know? Um, like, one of project uh, projectiles at you. They also can um, trap you like a bear trap if your foot gets stuck in one of them. They also have ones that... Part 11. That explode. That explode on you if you're close enough, and etc. You get... You get it, yeah, see, so yeah. You get, they also have zombie fish, like piranha, and one fish that's like a, a mix of a stingray and a shark. There's there's also one re classic Resident Evil enemy that you'll see, that you'll see, <clears throat> which I, I wish they had more already classic enemies, but oh well. Again, and it's the hunter, everybody's favorite, yay! <laughs> Just like the name said, it's a hunter, and you'll face a lot of them, and, and I mean a lot of them in the RE5 and RE Classic levels. They can jump high and kill you with their claws. They also fight in packs. They're all green and look like frogs and reptiles mixed together. Okay, this is part 12. Yeah, this is part 12. Oh, crap. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, this is part 12. They also have zombie dogs, but they're more like wolves than dogs. They hunt packs. Okay, now for the bosses. You'll face like five or six in the main game, like a security guard, but he's huge, and you'll face a bunch of enemies while you're fighting him. A zombie girl that plays out like Ari Classic, where you shoot her and she runs away, and you don't know where she's coming from. My favorite boss, by the way. They also have bosses that take over the entire ship. Your hand, just to name a few, just to name a few, one word, the boss fights are epic, which they, they really are. Okay, okay, I'm going to stop this video, and we're, doing, we're on part 13, so we're almost done. So we're getting there, part 3 coming soon.